All right, very nice work, everyone. Last CSS exercise for the unit is style the table. This web page has a table of games. The style rules have already been given to you. Assign the game class to all the game elements in your table and add the ID to your favorite game. Your table should end up looking similar to this. Okay, so your favorite game, I'm assuming, is going to be highlighted in green. Here's the model for what we're going for. Okay, so we run our code. All of the style rules have been given to us. We just need to find our games and give them the class of game. Okay, so I know that because, well, the instructions told me, but also uh, I can see here in the syntax with the period that it's in a class. So class equals game for Settlers of Catan. Class equals game. For Monopoly and then class equals game for checkers. Okay, so we run this and all of our games are in orange. Okay, our favorite game is going to be green. We need to give our favorite game that ID first. Okay, so out of these three, definitely would say Monopoly is my favorite. I used to play this all the time with my brother and sister growing up. Um, so the uh, hashtag is going to be favorite. And, okay, so here's another example of having a set of rules that conflict, right? We said that our game class should be orange, which Monopoly is in, but we also set it to favorite, which is orange. Uh, uh, green, sorry. <laughs> All right, so... Class and ID, we run it and we can see um, that the ID rule is going to win here. So the hashtag favorite rule, because in the cascade, IDs are considered more specific than classes. Okay, so even though the Monopoly tag is both in the class of game and has the idea favorite, which is a conflict, remember the cascade helps resolve conflicts. And so in this case, the ID rule takes precedence. It's the most specific type of rule you can have. And in this case, it's going to beat out the other rules and turn our favorite game green. All right, congratulations if you made it to the end of CSS. By now, you have enough knowledge to work on the first project in the web design class, which is create a homepage. I'm going to demonstrate that in another video. Very, very nice work. If there's any questions on lesson four, the cascade, leave them in a comment. I'm sorry, lesson five, leave them in a comment below. Nice, nice work, everybody.